Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a sewing vlog and I'm going to be sewing the Tilly and the Buttons Marnie top. Well, the top version, it actually comes as a top and a dress. It looks like this. It's a really beautiful pattern and I absolutely love, I absolutely love the fact you can do different versions of this. So you can do the dress, you can do a top and you can do uh, pin tucks on the like top, the front yokes and the sleeves. So I'm actually going to be quite boring. I'm not going to do the pin tucks for this video. I just want to do a more simplified version. I'm doing everything, uh, the top the top version without the pin tucks, but I am doing the frill shoulder and I'm not putting in the the um, the neck like collar, like the frill bit here. So literally just like the frilly shoulders. And that's because I'm making it in remnants of Liberty Lawn fabric. So you might have seen I made Willow a birthday dress. I'll leave a little picture here if you didn't um, watch that video. And I'm using all of the same fabrics for this top so that I hopefully can match Willow on her birthday, which I think would be super cute. So yeah, that's why I'm gonna make the top and I'm hopefully gonna wear it with jeans and it's gonna look super cute. I just need to get it finished in time and I have less than a week to make it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I did start on the project, so I'll show you what I've started on. Before I do that though, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. It really helps to support my channel and to help me grow on here. And as a mum, I'm not as regular with my uploads as I used to be, but I do try and upload at least twice a month. It's lots of multi-craft and sewing videos. So yeah, hopefully you can check out those as well if you haven't already. So I've already sewn the back and front piece together. This is the, the yoke piece. And then I've done the little button hole as well. Apologies about my, my nails. I literally painted my nails. I think it must have been like yesterday or the day before. I'm this red nail polish literally chipped like straight away. So yeah, so I've done this little piece and then I've also sewn together the side front and back front, uh, side front and side backs as well. So those are together. And then I think the next step, uh, oh, ruffle collar, if you're putting a ruffle collar on. And then all versions, um, right, so the next, next step is the neck binding so sewing the neck binding in half wrong sides together open it out again then fold each of the long raw edge into the center and press move to iron in an up downward motion da, 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 da. i see okay so we're binding this neckline piece i think so this little piece here we're now going to bind this edge but in order to do that we have to trim off the seam, like a part of the seam allowance by 10 millimeters. So I think I might have actually, aha. Uh -huh. So I did a stay stitch at about 10 millimeters so I can literally just do it just before that stay stitch line and that'll be enough, so that's good. So yeah, so I'm just gonna trim that off. And once that's done, we can then bind it. So super straightforward. I love Tilly patterns. Like I haven't sewn a Tilly, bat tilly pattern in a while, just because I've been so busy sewing Friday patterns where I obviously work for Friday Pattern Company um, on the social stuff. So yeah, it's been ages since I've sewn a Tilly pattern. But they're always so easy. Like I read the pattern instructions, I'm like, oh, is that it? And like, it's always really like rewarding because it comes together so quickly. Right, let's get the binding piece. We're going to use my miniature iron. This is the Cricut uh, mini press. I think I've plugged it in. Pop you up here <laughs> so that I can still talk to you because you were on my mini ironing board. I tend to use my mini ironing board when I'm filming at my desk. And then, yeah, use a tripod for other things when I'm not being lazy. So with the binding, it's actually quite small. Like it's quite narrow and I'm used to sort of thicker binding. So with this, I would just say, take your time because it is a little bit fiddly to be honest, but yeah. What I'll do is I'll iron it and then I'll show you what it looks like when I've ironed it all together. Hey guys, so this is what it looks like. Come on. There you go. I'm so sorry about my nails. <laughs> um, so that will fold over the edge and then you'd stitch, like top stitch that down. So yeah, we can go ahead and do that now. I love the fact that it, it has like a little contrast with those two. There's that done. Take this pin out of my mouth. <laughs> um, yeah, that looks so cute. And look how dainty it is. 
so it was like quite fiddly to sew but it looks really nice so yeah the next step is to have Luke saying add a button but I'm just going to do that later Thread your machine in a contrast colour, set the stitch length. Okay, so gathering time. So I'm gonna mark where the top is of these patterns because one of them has a curved bottom edge and I don't want in the heat of me just sewing, which I do quite often, just like rushing, to sew the wrong wrong um, side. So in terms of like the gathering stitches on the bottom rather than the top. Because um, as you'll see in the pattern piece, one of them is straight and one line is curved. So I don't want to accidentally do that. So good little tool is just mark it whilst you're prepping your patterns that you know. So really straightforward, Tilly's patterns are designed to be like super beginner friendly but when you kind of know how to sew you can kind of like start not like cheating the pattern but just like just do what you need to do basically. It says sew three rows of gathering stitches now in my opinion I think three is a, a, bit, obsess um, a bit excessive so I'll just sew two gathering stitches and then I can attach the gathered panels, like centre panels, to this little piece that we've just worked on. So the pieces will be sewn to the front and to the back. So I think, so that's what we're going to do. So let's do that. See, I'm glad I marked where they are, guys, because I just put that down on the table to talk to you. And then was like, which one is the top? So yeah gonna put my gathering stitches in. Hey guys, it's starting to get a bit dark in my studio now so I'm gonna call it um, a day but I just thought I would show you those gathered stitches attached to the back piece. How cute is that? There's the back, there's the front. So we're starting to look like a functional top in the making now. <laughs> so yeah, the next step I'm gonna take a bit of sewing into the house for the evening because I've been sewing in the evenings um, which is pretty exciting so yeah I might do those steps I can't um, annoyingly I don't like carrying my overlocker in the house so any sewing that I do in the house is like anything that like, requires me without an overlocker so I'm gonna just do a few steps indoors this evening probably and then I will my next sewing session I will show you what I've got up to so yeah, so far, super easy to sew. Hello! So it's another day in my studio. I have coffee hyperactiveness, so apologies if I'm weird. <laughs> um, also, the lights are on in my studio because it's two o'clock, nearly half two. Well, it is half two. And it's dark outside, or getting dark, it's horrible. But brightening my day is this make. And this is where I got to um, with my sewing indoors. Oh, hello. Um, so, what I need to do, because I sewed it indoors, I need to actually do the finishing of the inside seams. That means I can show you the inner work. So, I sewed together those panels. So, I need to open it up and finish off these lovely seams. So, yeah, I'm going to use my overlocker and finish these off. And then I can sew the side seams together. And then I can work on the sleeve. Um, I've got a couple of hours until my mum has to leave because she's got Willow today. And I've also got to sew a top for Friday Pattern Company. So I've got a lot of sewing to hopefully do. And I'm hoping this coffee hyperactiveness <laughs> like helps. But yes, I've got some sewing to do. So I might not get much done in this session, but I just thought I would come on and show you where I got to. And then I'll be able to do some more tomorrow. So that's the game. Um, but yeah, so I'm really happy with how it's coming along and actually the size, I think I made a size 4 um, and then graded to a 5 but to be honest it's such like an oversized sort of style that I think it's really forgiving in terms of the sizing um, but yeah I'm going to go ahead now and just overlock these and I'll show you uh, some, some of the next steps. Hello, so I'm just back in the studio hoping to finish the uh, Marnie top now. So I'm just going to put some gather stitches, gather <laughs> and gathering stitches in the top. So it needs to be gathered across this seam here and then across the arms um arm side. So I'm gonna put all the gathers in now um just to get all of them done in one go on both of the rectangular pieces and then the arm side. Oh yeah, so once that's done you attach the lower part of the arm to the top part of the arm, then do the side seam 
and then attach it to the bodice um, and then it, the elastic cuffs. So yeah, really um, it's just getting these sleeves done, getting them into the top. So hopefully I'll be able to finish it today. I've got about an hour of sewing. <laughs> we shall see. Even if I've got to do some finishing, that'll be fine. I can get little bits finished. It's today is Wednesday and Willow's birthday is tomorrow and I want to wear this on Sunday for her birthday and it's a busy busy few days coming up so yeah I've got basically now and I'm going to stop talking so I can get sewing. So I'm very pleasantly surprised because I managed to finish the top in that hour that I just mentioned to you guys. So yeah, I was like steamrolling it. <laughs> um, but here is the finished top. It's so gorgeous. Let me just show you the close up details of it. I'll turn the camera around. I'm so happy of how it's turned out. I think it looks so cute. And I'm gonna match my baby girl at her birthday. I love it so much. It's really cool the way it's come together with like the different um, contrasting Liberty prints. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. Let's turn it around. Still yet to sew a button on, so it's not 100% there, but I'm gonna do that. But I'm gonna do that this evening and give it all a clean up, take all the, any little threads and stuff out of it and give it a good iron. But yeah, I'm so, so pleased and it came together so easily. I love this pattern so much. It was gorgeous to work on. So that is it, friends. I hope you enjoyed seeing this vlog and seeing me sew together the Marnie top. It was an absolute dream to sew. I love Tilly's patterns. They're always amazing. I never have anything bad to say about them because they're just so streamlined, so beginner friendly. They're so pretty, they fit well. Um, their size range is great. So yeah, I'm just super, super pleased and I absolutely love how it turned out and I can't wait to wear it. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you think of the finished top. And if you've made the pattern as well, what did you think? Um, I definitely want to make the dress version, so let me know if you have loved wearing the dress and the ones with the pin tucks, because I absolutely think they are gorgeous as well. Um, so hopefully I'll get time to make something like that for spring. I think that'd be really nice. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye!